Good morning, everyone. I just want to give you a small update on the Bitcoin uh, price action. Uh, as you uh, see, we dropped down yesterday to the $3,500 level. And uh, if you watched my video yesterday, uh, you saw that I gave you like a good entry price um, uh, tip because uh, I dollar cost average my entry. I bought some more contracts up to thousand now. It was two hundred before. Now it's thousand, and I'm with the half of my trading uh, money in now. So as you can see, I was already like I could have a little profit, but I'm not closing my long right now. I have um, just for just to be safe uh, a next buy order at 2,990 if we would drop that far down because I have the liquidation at 2,973 dollars so here you see the one hour chart and um, yeah it looks like uh, we gonna have a nice support here and even if I would consider this more as a bear flag uh, than a bull flag uh, I can imagine that we can uh, drop a little bit down here and test this area again where I would go long for the short term if you have a chance to buy in at this price level between 3500 and where we are right now at 3530 while I'm recording this uh, I think here is a, a good entry for a long just a small position if you're if you're not in a trade right now just just don't go all in just a small portion of your um, of your money that you're using here for trading and um, let's look at the futures chart um, as I mentioned yesterday uh, we closed below 3620 and we made now this nice little gap down to three thousand five hundred dollars this is the four hours chart so the the, the 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 futures gap is quite big and if we zoom out you can see that um we are like in in the lower area of the fibonacci retracement so uh the, the head and shoulders pattern is still um uh, it's still possible. I'm. I'm not saying that this uh, chance is over because if you if we draw that uh, one shoulder here, the head would be like this. Yeah, it's it's barely hard to see, but uh, be because of my Fibonacci retracement. But yeah, it, it's it's still in the in in. in in, in the cards it's still possible i'm not saying that uh, we go shoot back up immediately but um a correction to the upside is very well possible as you can see uh we still have the the the, the gap at this uh, 3150 area so i'm betting more that we're going to test back up in this area of $5100 um and there is like the, the is the decision if we spike up or we go back down this is uh this is gonna be um this is gonna be like the ultimate uh test for bitcoin at this price area here so it's there is a chance that we're gonna do like um um let me draw this in red there's a chance that we might still go a little bit more down, test the 3,400 area, and then move towards the 5K and create these uh, head and shoulders. From here on, from here on, is the question: If are we going up? What I I think probably not. Or are we going get rejected and go down? Because at this level, there will be a huge, huge. Uh, long entries and um, people get bullish so everyone is expecting this breakout and as you know when everyone is expecting something mostly the opposite happens so uh, this turns me uh, to go bearish here 
and also the fact that we still have this gap down in the 3100 uh, area if we go in the 30 minutes chart uh, you can very well hold on this I don't need you can very well see the gap here down in this area here this is this have to be filled same as this gap over here as you can see we just filled it right now yesterday we filled that gap so this one is good this one is still to go so it's it doesn't mean that we have to fill it now this can happen anytime but if we don't go to fill it right now we're probably gonna fill it after we reach the the 5k area first let's go back to the four hours chart this would be the most bullish scenario if we fill the gap now and then go up because in that in that at that point we 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 have almost no more um bearish signals actually we would be creating here as you see if we would go back down and go up we would create this w letter and w's are always bullish because they tend to break up to the break out to the upside so this is what i see right now if we look here in the in the fibonacci retracement of uh, this price action we have right now so let's zoom in here we are currently uh testing the the 3550 area which is the 0.236 fibonacci level next one would be around this one here 3640 which i thought we were testing it just this hour ago yeah not or not really uh we still have to test this but the bounce back up to the three thousand eight hundred dollar is right now possible so i'm playing this right now with the target of three some somewhere around three thousand eight hundred if we get resistance in that area i'm gonna close my my long position and uh, trying to get a nice short position in the 3800 area which uh, probably i'm gonna do unless we really spike up and break immediately the 3000 3800 area this resistance here and spike back up let's say to 4k then I might I might keep my long position a little bit more open because there is a big chance that we gonna shoot back up. Even if this is really really low low chance that this can happen. Here in the four hour you see we are now in the oversold uh, territory. Let's check the daily. Yeah, daily. It's like getting almost to over over uh, oversold i mean if you look at this this looks like a really really uh creating a, a big big uh bear flag which could bring us further down to the 3400 uh, dollar area which is still possible but at that point i'm sure we're going to have the big correction back up to test the 3800 uh, dollar area before testing again the lo lowest three thousand one hundred dollar price we had in 2018 so that's it for today guys i hope you're in a good trade and have a nice uh, beginning of the week see you on the next one bye